I'm going to show how to amortize a loan. Let's call this a, uh, a loan either a notes receivable or a notes payable. And let's say it's for $4,000. And that would represent our principal amount. Now we have to determine what the payments are for this uh, loan here. So we have to know the interest rate. Let's say it's 10% per year. And then we have to know how many payments we are going to receive or pay on this loan. And we have to know also if the payments are at the beginning or the end of, of each period. And we'll call these uh, years here. So let's say they're at the end of each period. Go over to our financial calculator, or in this case I used Excel, and I determined the payments here to be $1,261. So those are our payments here uh, based on the interest rate and the loan's present value or its principal amount. Now we have to amortize or pay off uh, these equal payments here. How, how do we do that? So let's go up here and look at our amortization or a schedule on the loan. So we start here at the beginning of year one with a $4,000 balance. Now that we have to determine the interest, expense, or revenue on that uh, uh, loan for the year. So we take it times the interest rate here, 10%, uh, and we get a $400 interest expense or revenue for the year. Now we know what our payment amount was. It was $1,261 here. So this payment amount includes an interest expense or revenue plus a pay down on the principal here. So to determine uh, the principal amount, we would take the payment here, subtract out the interest expense, and then we get the principal. Now we have to determine the balance here for the next year on our in our principal amount here. So we subtract out this principal for year one here and we get the beginning of year two here. So we would take $4,000 minus 861 and we'd come up here with a balance of $3,138 for the beginning of year two. Now we go back and we do the same routine here. We determine the interest expense for the year by taking, uh, in this case, 10% times the current balance here of $3,138, and we get an interest expense of $313. Now we subtract that interest from the payment amount here, and we get the principal reduction for, for this year two. Now we go back and we subtract that from the balance, and we start out with a new principal amount here for like year three. And then we just proceed on through here, doing those same um, uh, functions here where you have the payment, you subtract out the interest, and you get the principal and amount here. And then looking at the last here, year here, we start out with a balance of $1,147. And then we had a principal amount for year four of that amount. And then uh, we subtract that out, and we get a zero balance here. So let's just go back and look at what we did. We paid payments here of $5,047. We had an accumulative interest here of uh, $1,047. So you subtract those uh, to the, uh, the 11 or the 1047 from the 5047, and you come up with the principal paid here of $4,000. So that's what we started out here if we look at our cash flow diagram. We started out here with a $4,000 loan. And after receiving or paying all our principal down here, we ended up with, uh, based on paying off this principal, we had a cumulative interest, either payable, receivable, of a thousand forty-seven on payments of fifty-five thousand forty-seven dollars. So that's just an overview of how we would uh, calculate or amortize the uh, payments down on this loan or notes receivable or note payable and how we would charge the interest in principal to that loan. All right, let's look at how we would record this loan as a notes payable on our balance sheet here. And we're not going to take any discount on this notes payable. We're just going to record uh, the principal interest amounts as, as they occurred over the uh, life of this uh, notes payable here. So we first we have a notes payable, which is a liability here, and we record that or increase that here by $4,000 for that uh, notes payable or that loan amount. And then for each year, we would reduce this notes payable here by the principal amount that we calculated. So at the end of the uh, four years, you'd have a, ba a zero balance here in your notes payable. Now, uh, we record 
our cash here, our cash payments on that uh, on a loan or that notes payable here. In this case, it was twelve hundred sixty-one dollars for each of the four years. So we had a total here of five thousand forty-seven dollars. Now we go over here and we have to record our interest expenses part of net income on the income statement for that loan. So here we'd just record here our interest expense on that loan as we had calculated it. So that was um, $1,047. So if we go over here, um, the $4,000 here, that's debit plus the 1047 here on the uh, expense on a, in a net income statement or the income statement, uh, that balances with the payments we made here of $5,047. All right, let's look at how we'd record the notes receivable on our balance sheet here. And we're not going to have any discount on the notes receivable. We'll just record the principal and the interest amounts. So we started out here with a $4,000 debit balance in the notes receivable. And, a and as we received those principal reductions, we reduced our um, notes receivable by that amount until the end of the fourth year. We've got a zero balance here in our notes receivable. Uh, $4,000 credit. Um, and minus the $4,000 debit here. And then for our cash uh, receipts, we re received $1,261 for each of the four years. So we got $5,047 sitting up here that we received in cash for that notes receivable. Then we go over here to the net income or the income statement. We have to recognize the revenues on that notes receivable. And in this case, we had the interest earned each of those four years here for $1,047. So if we look here at our debit and credit balances, we have a credit balance here of $1,047 of the interest revenues earned, um, plus the reduction here of the uh, notes receivable on the principal amount by $4,000, and that balances with our cash receipts here of $1,261 each for each of the four years of the $5,047. So that's how we'd record uh, a notes receivable without taking a discount on that notes receivable.